some test. Static key, not loud enough. I actually turned down the microphone a bit because of the static. I just don't know if it's too silent now, maybe. Should be. Hold on. How about now? Maybe try refreshing? I'm not sure. Yeah. I can understand the static. Like, my connector in the PC is a bit messed up, like bent a bit, and it just creates static every time, especially when I go live. Although I haven't yet figured out why, why exactly does it happen mostly when I'm doing something online or talking on Discord. But what I'm trying to figure out is if I can maybe like get an adapter from a 3.5 millimeter to USB so that I can maybe possibly have a better quality recording as well but we'll see about that okay so where did we leave off last time I think I basically just got here if I remember correctly So I don't think I've done anything in, at the gym just yet. And honestly, I can't remember if I can go there, like right away. Okay, for some reason I didn't go to the center just yet. So we're gonna go for a 200 IQ strat once I take the item. Not bad. Okay, so my 200 IQ strat is just go in with Marshton. Like go all the way because I think I should be more or less OP. Maybe Makuhita, but we'll see. Did I switch? Yeah, I did. Big brain time. Yep. Pretty much. One shot. Got him. I mean, I can also turn down the in-game audio as well, in case it gets too staticky. Shouldn't be an issue. I didn't see what what he got. I think it was Magnemite. Okay, so I'm basically just gonna switch purely because of... Hold up. If I learned something last time, it's that Magnemite can't have Levitate, am I right? So I think I should be okay, 
Island with a mud, uh, with a ground type. But I guess I could level Makuhita as well. So far so good. I think we're we're good to go. I actually wanna fight them. Like I wanna fight as many trainers as possible. As weird as it is for me to say it, but Explain to me one thing. What is Zigzagoon doing in an electric type gym? Yeah, of course it's competitive. Like, why wouldn't it be? Duh. I'm still super confused about this Zigzagoon. Okay, so li literally that's the only reason, right? Well, I guess... Guess who isn't gonna get a chance to use it? That was easy. For a second, I thought my Zigzagoon actually picked something up again. That was cheesy, though. And then again, Meditite as well. Okay, I guess. I mean... Basically my thought process was, let's not use Mud Shot too much. Because I don't want to waste PP. Unnecessary, like unnecessarily. I'm gonna assume he's gonna jump at me as soon as I get. Yep. Can't avoid that one. I mean, it's not like I was gonna avoid him anyway. Now I actually wanna finish the gym in one go. Okay, this could actually be an issue now. I mean, I'm probably gonna go and heal before the leader. And I actually can't remember the leader's name. What does Foresight do? Let me check. That's good to know. <laughs> I mean, from the description, I guess it's like a dodge of some sort, but I'm gonna assume it doesn't work as well as it's like probably supposed to or something. I mean, it does no damage, so nah. Come on, I, I pressed B one too many times. Okay, there we go. Big oof. At least it was a one shot. I think I should be okay. Oh, 
Okay, but I guess since Marsh Dump isn't a fighting or a normal type, there's no reason why I should use it, right? One shot. I'm calling it. Almost. Also, I just realized that pretty much I have a good team to like finish, I don't know, maybe the next two gyms if we don't count this one. Because I can still use Marsh Dump on, in the fire type gym, and then I can use Makuhita in the normal type gym. But then again, the next one is... Hold up. Was it flying type? I think it was flying type, yeah. I need something for the flying types. I guess I still haven't gotten the Swablu I was mentioning that I want to that I want to use later on. Maybe that could be useful. One thing I haven't considered really is the fact that he probably has high level Pokemon, although it doesn't seem to be an issue though. The last one is Magneton, if I recall correctly. Or was it Electric maybe? I actually can't remember. Okay. At least I haven't... At least I can maybe... Okay, I, got, I actually got him one shot. Well, I'm gonna assume it is, because Trico, or at this point... God, what was it? Grovile doesn't really have something that's good against electric types, right? I can actually one-shot him. Or he can one-shot me as well. That works. Basically if I use if I lose Marsh Dump it's game over at this point. Okay, I think he might use a super potion now. Yep, called it. Taking the fact that he's not at full HP, it could it was even worse than the first time. I was hoping I could maybe one shot him. That's a GG I guess.
could maybe use Shockwave later on. Or the flying type gym I mentioned earlier. Okay, now where do I find Rock Smash? I guess I can maybe try and go like from house to house. Talk to literally everyone. There's my answer. Okay, and what's in the other house? Like I I wanna check it out. Okay, so is this like a side quest of some sort? Like, do I get something if I bring her harbor mail? Just wondering. Okay, if that's the case, I guess it's something that I'll do later on, like after we're done with everything. I might like incorporate getting like getting the coin case maybe wasting all of my money in this bad boy and slash or I might go for melodic at the same time okay so I'm gonna assume if I'm gonna go through raster tunnel I'm gonna need to teach somebody rock smash Check something. Nice. I can't remember who did I teach. Flash. Was it Lombre? I think it was. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna train Taylor and Lombre right now. Because they're kind of falling behind since I didn't get to use them as much. That's actually perfect. Also, the one thing I realized is that as I'm moving on with gyms, I'm also slightly falling behind in levels, so I guess I could spend some time training as well. Because I'm not sure how long I'll be able to keep up 
like this. Why did I use Astonish? I actually read Absorb. At least he flinched. Or rather she. How much is Trick House gonna help me with leveling? Like, I do remember there are trainers in there. Candy. just keeps sending out Pokemon that I can counter really well. This should be a one-shot easily. Yep. Correctly, he evolves with which stone was it? Was it Leaf Stone? Really? What? Oh yeah, Water Stone. Hold up. So dive. I I can use dive after the. 7th gym, right? What was the name of the city? Moss Deep, right? I'm gonna assume that I can find the water stone in the abandoned ship. You can trade with blue shards. But I can go to the abandoned ship earlier than that, right? Or is there a p part where I need. dive to, like, reach it in the abandoned ship? That is kind of meh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry? I'm not gonna ask.
also as big of an idiot uh, as I am about this game. I actually don't mind... I actually don't mind you telling me where stuff are because I guess it kind of makes it for some reason more enjoyable for me. Does Wally actually have asthma? Like for some reason I, I can recall that somebody mentioned his asthma. Or maybe he did, but I can't pinpoint exactly where and when. But doesn't maybe like... If he has asthma, let's say he has asthma, if you go into a place that's full of flowers and let's assume you're maybe allergic to pollen, like wouldn't that make everything worse? It's just my thought process. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna use the table on this one. I just need that XP. Don't question it more. Okay, I'm not gonna ask questions anymore. Is there a place like not counting? little root that doesn't have a Pokemon Center. I I can't remember. I know that there are a few towns that don't have a Pokemart. I mean, it kind of does make sense since when you use fly, you're gonna fly to the Pokemon Center in that town slash city. I hope this this is gonna be a quick one. Of course, he gets a crit. Nice. That works too.
I also remember that as a kid I used to think Absorb was OP because of the self-heal. Where did you get an arrow? I mean, I guess I know where did you get him, but what would a guy with an arrow do here? I also like how um, I actually mind blocked again. Hold up. God forbid they use a Pokemon from another area. I mean, it's not like those two area areas are close to each other. I guess. So that's why I was wondering that. I guess I could have used Astonish for the BM. Hold up. Is Astonish a ghost type move? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Wouldn't work. The Swift actually miss. Because if I recall correctly, you can't miss with Swift. I guess, unless it's a flying type or has levitate, right? Really? I mean, if you use fly, of course. Also, Zayza didn't got something. Nugget. There's a What's up here? Rather down here. I don't know. Actually leveled up. Wait, I do have an item find item finder, right? I got it earlier. Okay, so does fake out work only once, I guess? Nah, 
I don't think it's worth it. I can't remember actually. Also, if he drops his glasses, does that mean that the glasses I can find with item finder are actually his, which means I can join them? I guess I'm gonna register item finder. I go here. I'm not. One, two, three, four. I mean, the only clue, I guess, is because. It beeps like four times, I guess. Maybe it doesn't work like that. Oh, why did I press select again? Okay, so apparently it's. Look, I'm used to using the item finder in. What was it? on the Poketch in Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. Like, that's the only game where I used Item Finder. So don't, don't judge me, and it actually... I'm pretty sure I checked this block. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> also, do I have any repels? Because I don't feel like I do. I don't feel like I'm benefiting from level 6 Wismers too much, so... I just want to avoid it for now. Okay, do you give me something? Also, it, it would be really nice if I could like learn water type move for Lombre. I mean, absorb works for now, but does he learn anything by leveling? Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait for a while, I guess. Like, I hope he will be 
level 49 before I evolve him, like get the chance to evolve him. Does Ludicolo learn Hydro Pump by himself? Okay, I guess. And also, there's these two. I used the repel, right? I actually didn't know you could get you can you get strength from here. Is that the manga? Yeah, I don't, don't have cut just yet. Of course it's up there, why wouldn't it be? I mean... Great. I guess Ruster Tunnel is apparently at least somewhere interesting. At least somewhat. Also, how did Absorb actually one-shot him? That's what I'm wondering. I should be back. Disregard, I wasn't on full HP. Okay, now... Okay, this is the one. Yep, on it. I guess I'll teach... Hmm. Literally the only one who can. And I mean, since I'm not really using Zigzagoon for... for battles... I guess I can just get rid of literally everything... and teach him all... all the HMs he can. Obviously, I'm gonna give Lombre the... I'm gonna teach him Surf. Okay, where do I get the XP share? One of these guys, maybe? Okay, so should I maybe like 
train him a bit so he evolves. Okay, this guy will like bring my fossil to life if I remember correctly. There we go. Okay, I guess if that's the case, I'm gonna teach, like, give the XP share to Zigzagoon for now. Hold on, where is it? There we go. No, but if I give it to Zigzagoon, he won't be able to pick up items either, right? Rip. Who do I t give it to, though? I guess I'll give it to Lombre. Because, like, at the moment, I can't think of a way... Like, he isn't super useful in battle as it is, since I can only use nature power and absorb, and it's actually gonna do something. Yeah, but I mean, I'm gonna use both Taylo and Makuhita more often than Lombre, to be honest. Also, let me visit the Mart real quick. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna waste some money. I'm just gonna use it for the Raster Tunnel. And... I don't know how much... How many Pokeballs do I have? Not much, but I guess I'll save money for Great Balls and Ultras later. Oh yeah, that, that is correct. But I would have to go back, right? Maybe not, actually. Also, I can do this now. That was useful. Which entrance, though? This one, I'm gonna assume. There's gotta be something up there. Like in that small space between the trees right above me. Like there's no way there's nothing there. Rooms. Really? What? For what though? Can we sold cheaply? Nah. Okay, so Miracle Seeds boosts grass type Pokemon. Right? Yeah. Uh, 
I, I guess I'll give it to Lotad. Like maybe give XP share to Makuhita or someone. Also, I'm going to use a repel real quick. Just to explore a little more. Ooh, a great ball. Not bad. I'll take it. More items I'm probably never going to use. Cares about sure so honestly. Okay, I guess I can go all the way back now. Or maybe hold up. Literally the first patch of grass. I'm not gonna use it. I'm not even gonna use wing attack. Also, can I actually sell all the axes? How much do I get from that? Yeah, I mean, you don't give them X items. Like, you don't give your Pokemon X items, if I'm correct. I guess I'm not gonna use Dark Hit either. So I guess I can sell that as well. Can be sold at a high price. Not not bad. So now, now I can access the area over here in Route 116. Like this.
also I remember that at some point I mentioned that I want to use Sableye throughout the playthrough. But I can't remember if I can actually get one. Like, I know I can get one in the granite cave. And I know that I can get one in the sky pillar later on, but that's way later. And honestly, I don't know if there's anywhere else I can get one. I'll check. Uh, oh, come on. Not that either. I also can't remember which number he was. I actually haven't seen one. That's interesting. I was quite sure I, I fought at least one. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, I'll see one eventually, so I'm not too worried. Also, now that I'm here in Verdant Turf, I think this town has one of the better like, soundtracks throughout the game. Like, I, I feel like it captures the atmosphere of the town pretty well. Also, I want to check if I can get a better Pokeball here. Weaker Pokemon, does that mean weaker as in HP weaker or stat-wise? thing I do remember for some reason is that oh cool that's what I needed for some reason I managed to catch a Rayquaza once in the nest ball Yeah, that was extremely lucky. But then again, as a kid, I was just playing based on luck. No skill whatsoever. So I guess it's basically like... A better Pokeball earlier in the game? 
I assume, but it doesn't help later on. I also like how in today I did a lot of things, but then again I didn't move much since the last time. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I did everything I could up until this point. So I guess I'll... Go heal now. We can move on. No, what's here? I actually forgot about this place. I guess I could go for this just to train for a bit. Is that the move that switches the opponent's Pokemon with the random? I mean, I guess this is gonna be too useful. Should be able to one shot this. Also, can I repeat this house later on in the game, or is it once you beat it, it's over? What does it do? Okay, translate to non-nerd language, or rather to a noob language, I guess. Okay, so basically it's it could be useful. It's just that I don't really know who, who do I give it to. Again, I mean, I guess I could take it, but... Should I stream Battle Tower after I'm done with the game? I mean, I guess we could add, add this to the list of things to do after, after, after I'm done with the main game. We'll see.
Um, I'm not sure if I understand exactly what generate Pokemon for them for the tower means. Also, I didn't see what Pokemon is coming up. Okay, we're good. Should be a one shot. You mean like get me some Pokemon to go to Battle Tower with them? Or. Pokemon in my boxes. So basically, you give me what? Already pre trained Pokemon or. Who creates a cheat code for you? Those codes will give you Pokemon from nowhere. I mean, I do know how cheat codes work, but. Okay, I guess it's gonna t save me some time. To do other stuff as well. I'm going to smack you. <laughs> nice. Also, what's up, Squall? But I do think it's gonna be fun, like trying to figure out what to do with those Pokemon. Okay, what do you mean by stinkers? What, okay, what the hell is this meditate though? <laughs> Can he like... Miss one? Okay, I, I genuinely feel like this meditate is gonna be the end of me. Unless... Okay, this is gonna be the first item I'm ever gonna use throughout the entire playthrough. Yeah, it, it will definitely. Like, I feel. I feel like. Since I'm a noob to begin with, it could be fun to. Like, maybe try and figure it out on my own, like, you throw me like, I don't know, three Pokemon, three random Pokemon I might have never had before, or never used, and then I just try to figure out a strategy or something. Yeah, basically. But then again, as a kid, I, for some reason, I used to love Battle Factory because of that random factor, I guess. So basically, all my knowledge of this game comes from, I guess, all the playthroughs that I did casually as a kid. And basically, the last time I played a Pokemon game in its entirety was back in like 2005, 6 maybe and it was Pokemon Sapphire as well so TLDR it would be a shit show really but a fun one at least Also, I don't think I tried fishing before, although I guess I can't do much with the old rod. Wait, did I even get the old rod? Yeah, I did.
Also, these two. I mean, I could go for it. I mean, the thing is, since I'm not really a Pokemon streamer, and and rather a variety streamer, I guess I would say so myself, um, I don't really have the time to like EV train all the Pokemon. So, and I basically wouldn't do it for like more than two streams. At most. So the, the main idea for this whole playthrough was, I guess, to complete the game. And then afterwards maybe do like a couple of fun challengers or something. For example, I really want to get a Melotic at some point. And since it could take some time to actually achieve that, I'm gonna dedicate one stream to that. Then I would probably do Battle Tower once or twice. I'm gonna swap to Makuhita real quick. Then I also want to do all the contests. Yeah, I think I think it's what I'm gonna do. Because then again. I'm not a kind of person who would like grind anything literally. I, I was always a type of a type of a person who would like use repels most of the time, sneak around trainers so that I don't so that I don't really engage in battles too much because I like fi I, at least I used to like finishing games as soon as possible. I mean, that would be a fine, a cool idea, Lucario. Yeah, basically, I'm not really gonna use them too much, but... I guess it could be a fun skill to learn, or at least learn the basics of it. If I, if I decide to play a different game. Okay, what do... Let's actually do something fun. That's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Joke. Let's go with Slimy. That's the perfect clincher indeed. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, if you have any fun ideas like what I could do after I finish the main game, I'll be more than happy to... to do some of them. I mean, I was talking to Lucario the other day and he mentioned that I could possibly go for 4 stars on Sapphire, but I guess it would take some time to beat the Pokemon Tower. Or Battle Tower, rather. But now that I think of it, I'm not really sure if I'm capable of doing so. Like, as it stands right now. Because basically going into this playthrough, I thought I knew at least something. Turns out that I forgot most of it. Okay, so just remind me, one star is for beating the Elite Four, second star is for completing the Pokedex, third star is for beating Battle Tower? I think. Does it matter on which level do I beat it, beat it or... Does it have to be level 100? There is a level 100, right? Or am I just having false memories. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna... I'm gonna need some help throughout the playthrough. <laughs> But at least that helps a lot, knowing that I don't have to go for a level 100. Okay, so up there is the desert. What limit? Another nugget. Do I do anything with nuggets or do I just sell them? I think it's level 50 and level 100, but you can only use, if I, if I remember correctly, you can only use, um, you can only use Pokemon bef that are not over level 50. Yeah, I will. I just need to remember like I need to remind myself where, I, where I'm going if I go left I guess I'm not going far I actually can't remember though 5,000 a piece yeah I'm definitely selling them yeah. and if I remember correctly I should be able to get my chop here somewhere Like, I think that cave where I can get him is here somewhere, close.
does leave. Okay, so this does take me up. Okay. Does he like have four Geodudes? All level 16? Like I wouldn't honestly wouldn't be surprised. He does. Free XP, I guess. I can assume he is a trainer as well. Okay, so apparently I need to do something before I can go up. Is that what you mentioned a few streams ago, Lucario? Like, just for context, Lucario asked me, or at least met, said in the, in the chat a few streams ago, like, he wonders if I could remember how to get to the cable cart. Like, how to get these, those grunts out of the way. I think I might have an idea. I think there's something I need to do in Meteor Falls before I can do that. But I'm really not sure. Then again, it does feel like it's kind of far away to, to go there, then back back to Rasboro, and then all the way back here to Mount Chimney. I don't know. What I do know is that I need a Pokemon Center. Oh, nice! I do have to go there. It, it seems. But I can't go through the desert just yet. I need some sort of goggles, if I recall correctly. But where do I get them?
Also, I just realized my Hariyama is the highest level on the team. And like, basically out of nowhere. And we have to go, we go to hit badge. Yeah, but I don't have the hit badge. I guess it's big brain time again. Okay, so I'm basically thinking of places where I might have to go now. I mean, yeah, I know I will, but... Hold up, what, there was a cave underneath Mount Chimney as well. Maybe something to do with that? Like, I'm basically just gonna wander around for now. I'm not gonna go through tall grass here, just checking if there's anything in here that could be of any use. Pass. Out of all the Pokemon I could have got like encountered here, I actually forgot that you could encounter Grimer. Shadow Ball, okay. Great. I don't think I have an antidote. Nope, he did. I guess I'll switch to somebody else. Do I just let Lombre die or... Because I've basically got nothing to heal him with. I can just... I guess I can... Do I have them though? Okay, I guess I can take the XP share now. What? Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay... Maybe I do have some. Yeah, I do. There we go. Thanks, Lucario. Like, I keep forgetting I can actually use berries for something else than just making pocket blocks. XP share to Swallow, I guess. And I mean, I can use a rare candy. Like, I don't feel like it's gonna affect much if I just level somebody. 
one of these soon. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna need strength for this, so I guess I can't use that just yet. There's an exit. Oh goody, one shot. Wait, is normal just fire type or is he fire and ground? I can't remember. I know that camera up is ground type as well, right? And we out somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I figured it out, Lucario. And you thought it was gonna be—it was gonna take a while. Okay, so my idea for now, although this idea is just a theory, it's definitely gonna change later. Is that I need to go to Meteor Falls for some reason, and then they're gonna open the cable cart or just get away from it and then I'll be able to go to Mount Chimney right I guess I'm gonna use a soda pop just just in case. So tell me if I'm wrong, but I might I might have thought of something and I I I don't know if it's if you can do that or not, but if you have the super rod. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back for him later. Because I have to go back anyways later on, but I just want to get to Fallen Board for now. And I once again missed. Okay. I'm gonna switch this well. But once you get the. Is it super? Is it Super Rod? I, I actually can't remember what's the best fishing rod you can get. I know it's Old Rod, Good Rod, and then Super Rod, I guess? Like, if you used it, let's call it Super Rod. I'm not sure if it is or not. But if you use Super Rod just before Evergrant, can you actually cat, like, fish a, a Waylord? Yeah, but I'm not sure if you if you have to use the rod or can you just find it by surfing around. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. You sense you can just throw your rod 
and apparently catch a whale. Also, I'm definitely going here. I can rest my Pokemon in here, right? Also, the TV is flashing, so I guess I'll check it out. Um. Like, why would I need a rest twice? That's deep. that's really deep. <laughs> I mean... This is worth a clip, right? Like, I think I'm gonna actually highlight this bit later on. I don't know why, but I, found, I find it really funny. Like, the deep thoughts I have behind every battle. I basically just spam any attack that deals damage and that's it. I mean, I know it's not easy because I remember back in the day when we were fish fishing for Phoebus. Like, it's super hard to get him. I think it took us like an hour and then I killed him. Like, that was one of the most depressing fails I had, playing a Pokemon game. I guess you could say. I mean, if I was lucky, I would have caught it and not killed it. To be honest. And I'm dead. Or maybe not. If he gets a crit, I'm gonna be angry. Yeah, I remember since I am the noob here and Lucario has all the knowledge, I think he pointed out to me that there's a specific tile, like basically one tile where you can fit, where you can get him. With all what what? Does it like does it affect it in any way? Yeah, but is that one spot randomly generated or...? Okay, three tiles chosen at random. Does that mean that... Those... Every time you play the game, only in those three tiles you can find them. Or does it mean that... It's always those three tiles, but it's one of them at random. I'm playing on a PC emulator. Okay, so basically it doesn't matter which... Um, 
which rod do you use? It's just the tile. Right? I mean, I'm basically gonna need more explanation once I get to that point, but... Okay, now... I think we're going beyond my comprehension at this point, like... I'm, I'm not sure how real learning works. No, so where can I get Love Disc? Like, what's the first place I can get him? I, I know you can get him by diving. Around... Is it though? Around... Um, fishing in Everground? Okay. Um, so I'm playing on a PC emulator. So there's no cartridge battery. Um, but I did set it up so that the clock in game is in real time, so it follows my local time. Okay, so I do have... I do have to wait for a while to relearn it. But then again, I won't re... I don't feel like I'm really gonna go... F f go fish Phoebus before beating the league. Or maybe I could, actually. Like, just before I finish the game. And then probably use Melotic in the league as well. Yeah, I have it enabled, so basically I'm not going to be able to farm it, really. Like, each day I'm, I'll have to find the th three tiles again, right? Also, I realized I stopped paying attention to what's happening in the game. I'm just reading chat and trying to figure everything out. Yeah, but I mean, since it's gonna be do, done in on stream, I'm basically not gonna stream it on different days, right? Yeah, but... I guess I don't want to do that because... Yeah, that... I mean... As it stands right now, I'm not growing any berries, but once I do catch a Feebas, I'm definitely gonna grow berries that could allow me to create beauty po poker blocks, like the blue ones. have a paralyzed hill heal somewhere maybe not I'm not wasting a full resort on like just yet Probably, that's why I'm dedicating one single stream for that. Like, at no point do I expect it to, that it will be easy to find one. Like, basically when I, when I find one, I guess I'll be fishing on that spot for a bit. Just to like, get a few of them, in case I mess something up.
Also, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna get a sack for for co collecting ash around, like ashes. What do I do with it, though? What do I need a cast form for? Like, does the weather affect the chances to cash him? Any item or... Okay, but why would I need a cast from though? That's what I'm wondering. Like, I don't have the area map in my head. Yeah, I know it's a gift Pokemon. It's just that I was wondering why specifically cast for him. I, I guess I don't need him. Really? Yeah, uh, I mean, I do remember that part purely because of the fact that I used to spend a lot of time there just trying to catch a Phoebus. I also like how we've been talking about catching Phoebus for at least 20 minutes now. You know what? I might have I might have had an idea. So another 200 IQ idea. I guess I guess you could say a 200 IQ idea. Not really, but what if I actually do the FIBA slash my lot extreme before the sixth gym? And then I use Melodic in that gym fight. Because I feel like having an Ice type Pokemon, at at le or at least a Pokemon that can use Ice type moves, it could be useful. Especially for, for the Altaria in the gym leader fight. The only thing I'm worried about is levels. I'm not really sure at what level does Melodic learn, for example, Ice Beam. Or does he really at all? Okay, so let's make like some sort of a plan. So I feel like this series is gonna take a while to to be completed. Okay, where do I get a TM? Is it the 8th gym? What do you mean, game corner? Do I buy it there, or...? Really? Okay. Yeah, I am aware of that, but... I guess the... Game Corner stream is coming... Sooner than... I mean, I used to love playing those games, so it's not that big. Why did I use my shot? I'm an idiot. I 
I mean, I wanted to do like a chill stream, I guess, just goofing around, playing games in the game corner, and just talk nonsense, I guess. Coffins is he have? I'm gonna take a gamble here. Okay, I'm not gambling anymore. Back when I played Fire Red, I didn't really care that much about Porygon because I don't know, I just played played around in the game corner for fun and nothing else. I guess it could be fun to like play it for a bit. Not too much though. Does it do anything in particular or is it just a random Porygon you had? Wait, which berry heals paralysis? Oh, cherry. There we go. What does Recycle do, though? Okay, so you are basically just recycling the citrus berry. I'm gonna fight those two later. I just wanna get to a Pokemon Center. I guess he's gonna give me the sack or something. Also, what's with half path?
I'm gonna try and avoid. Nope, didn't work. Please send us a short battle. Okay, it's fairly show. Show what? Short. I remember back in the day I thought that having a Meowth who knows Payday, I think it was Payday, I think that's the name of the move. I thought that was like super OP because you get a lot of money off of it. DM32 Double team What do you mean it, that it's infinity? Like infinity in a way that it helps you a bit or what? Also, why is she on the PC? PC? I mean, yeah, but then again you have to grind a bit, and I'm a bit too lazy to do those stu those kind of stuff. Okay, so that's Lynette. Yeah, I figured that out. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I, I could sell those nuggets I have. What kind of doll? No, I'm not buying stuff, I wanna sell stuff. Now that's a lot of cash. Is there anything else I can sell? Like, that I don't need? Nope. That's cool, but I don't think I'll do that just yet. I'll go for it once I'll be around that area, for example, when I'll go back for the 5th gym. I could incorporate that in... in a different shoulders stream, I guess. But then again, I guess I'm not yet sure what I want to do, except that base.
Also, is there any in-game value for having bases, or is it just for show? I can't remember. I guess it's cool to have a base, but... Statics only? Okay. okay let me see if I actually got some mesh and I can... Is that enough? Blue flute. What does the blue flute do? Does it wake Pokemon up or Okay, so these two are the only ones left in this in this route, route, I think. Wait, flutes. So there's more than one of them. There's more of them, what do they do? <laughs> also, because I'm lazy and I don't really wanna take a sleep, but situation in some other stuff. I mean it does make sense that those flutes would just heal stats or not stats what statuses there we go that's the one I need also the only reason why I'm using repel is because I don't, re I really don't want to fight anyone. Also, it's getting kind of late, and we've been going for a while, so I think I'll call it a day here. I hope, I hope you had fun as well. Okay, so let's make like a plan of some sort. So during the next stream, I guess I'll I'll go for the Meteor Falls, the fourth gym and maybe go back, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna deal with the gym just yet, like in the next stream. I feel like it's gonna take a while to get there. And then after that, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to tune in on Thursday for some Warcraft 3. And on Sunday, I'll reveal the project I've been working on. So I hope to see you then. Until Thursday, have a wonderful evening, night, day, whatever. And I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.